All right, look, got an update on number 26. And you know what? I like this. I like this by Joe Shane. You know, very rarely can you win the public over and do what's best for the team. Normally in a situation with Saquon Barkley, unless you sign him, you're the bad guy. But I think this is a special situation right now where majority of Giants fans don't care if Saquon come back. I know you like Saquon. He's a good guy, all that, whatever. But I think most Giants fans are like, he ain't worth the money. So I feel like Joe Shane gets a get-out-of-jail-free card with this handshake agreement he has with Saquon where he's not going to tag him. He'll let him hit the open market. But come back to us and give us a chance to match. And that's what we're going to do. They're not going to tag him and let him seek a trade. They're not going to tag him and let him and try and negotiate deep into the offseason like they did last year. They're like, look, Saquon, do what you got to do. You feel me? Do what you got to do. Just give us a chance to match. Just give us a chance to match the offer. Explore free agency. See what your market value really is. And give us a chance to match it. And if we feel you're worth that money, we'll match it and keep you in the building. If not, if not, you got the contract you wanted on another team, God bless, good luck. This is good business. You know, I really can't complain about Joe Shane. The only thing Joe Shane did to piss me off was not trade for a receiver at the deadline two years ago. Because I feel like Daniel Jones is playing his best football and we were, ever, we were a receiver away from being able to compete. I really feel like if we had a number one receiver versus the Eagles, that game looks different. It just does. Daniel Jones was on another stratosphere in 2022. Now, I don't know what happened to that Daniel Jones. That's the Daniel Jones I stuck my neck out off for. That's the Daniel Jones I put my reputation on the line for. That's the Daniel Jones that was made me happy to be a fan of the team because he gave me hope. The Daniel Jones we got this, the first six weeks of the season might have been one of the worst quarterbacks I've ever seen in my life. I don't know how you go from winning that playoff game in Minnesota to being one of the worst quarterbacks I ever take the take a uh, snap on the football field. I, I, I don't understand it. But other than not getting that version of Daniel Jones a receiver, I can't complain with Joe Shane because you got to admit, fellas, Joe Shane trades our best receiver, Kadarius Tony. Remember, we didn't know Kadarius Tony was the, the, the bum that he turned out to be. Kadarius Tony was fresh off of rookie season in which he had the 10-catch game versus Dallas, and he was our first-round pick. We had high hopes for Kadarius Tony before he turned out to be what he turned out to be. <laughs> I know. Look, I know it kind of feels, it, it feels disgusting coming out my mouth. You ever had to burp? You ever eat some 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 good food and you burp and it's like, ugh. You know, it just came out the wrong way. That's what that felt like when I'm trying to speak good things about Kadarius Tony. But there was a time, Giants fans, where we liked Kadarius Tony. We had high hopes for Kadarius Tony. And for Joe Shane to trade the kid, knowing we have no receivers, and then not replace him. That was egregious, and I and I had to air Joe Shane out for that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all act like Daniel Jones is the first time I had to switch up on somebody. Y'all know, y'all know I don't play that shit. I had to switch up on Joe Shane. I forgot what episode of the Giants Outsiders it was, but Kyle Pizzle in the chat, y'all was calling me Devil Fist that night. Nah, man, y'all look, y'all know I'm quick to give it to somebody. I, I ain't got time, bro. But um, yeah. So good move by Joe Shane. Saquon Barkley, listen, he's he's a good player. I'm not going to call him great. He's not a great player. He's a good player. Great players elevate teams. Great players carry teams. Good players have moments. Saquon is a good player. He had moments. Versus Washington was a moment. Second half versus Arizona was a moment. But Saquon's not great. He doesn't carry the Giants. Like, if you really think about it, we want a third-string quarterback, an undrafted guy sleeping on mommy couch eating chicken cutlets, okay? You would think 
that Tommy DeVito would just hand the ball to Saquon 30, 40 times a game. They still tried to build a game plan around Wondell Robinson, deep balls to Slayton, Jayla Hot. Like, they still built a passing game plan. And it's like, listen, I'm not going to go X's and O's with y'all. All I'm going to say is this. I got two eyes. Y'all got two eyes. We both got HD TVs. We both got pretty good laptops. However it is you consume Giants games this year. Not one time outside of the Washington game was Saquon the featured player in the offense. When Saquon was the featured player in the offense, they ran the ball with him 30 times. Remember last year? Not last year, two years ago, before they had faith in Daniel Jones. They put the ball in Saquon's hands and they said, here's the ball 25, 30 times. And our offense didn't do shit. So I think Brian Dable said, you know what? When I built the offense around Saquon, we didn't score. Remember last, not last year, two years ago, okay, 2022. The first, like, six weeks of the season was Saquon, 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 Saquon. And then there was a, 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 a quick turn, and it was Daniel Jones, Daniel Jones, Daniel Jones, Daniel Jones. Ever since the Houston Texans game in 2022, you could count on one hand how many times Saquon Barkley's gotten 20 carries in the game. You can count on one hand how many times Saquon Barkley's had a 100-yard rushing game. Matter of fact, let me look at Saquon Barkley right quick. How many 100-yard rushing games does Saquon Barkley? And I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear shit about the offensive line because Tennessee offensive line ain't always been that great. The Kyle Shanahan offensive lines of San Francisco don't always be that great. Like, I don't want to hear nothing about offensive line. Uh, when you're a running back, you're supposed to make shit happen. All right? I don't want to hear the offensive line shit. Y'all don't make that excuse for nobody else. Okay, so where the hell is Saquon Barkley? Okay, there he is. How many 100-yard rushing games does Saquon Barkley have? One. He had 100-yard rushing game. October 29th versus the Jets. He had 36 carries and 128 yards. One. 100-yard rushing game all of last year, fellas. He had one. And y'all think he worth $14, 15000000 million? Come on, man. Stop the fucking cap. The fifth unit question of the day. Do you pay a running back $14 million who had one 100-yard rushing game all of last year with two backup quarterbacks? Think about that. We're on our second and third string quarterback, and we have Saquon Barkley, allegedly a top five running back in the league. You would think the offense would run through him, right? Right? What about the fumble versus Green Bay that almost cost us the damn game? Like, come on, like I can't, bro. What about the drop versus the Rams? Like, what are we talking about, son? Like, I, I'm not trying to rip Saquon Barkley, but I'm not mad that Joe Shane's letting him walk. Go let them test the market. If somebody want to max out Saquon, let them max out Saquon. But we shouldn't be franchise tagging, bending over backwards, dealing with his media podcast and shit that you know he going to try and do. Like, come on, man. The fifth unit question of the day. Do you pay a running back $14 million who had one 100-yard rush game all of last year? That's the fifth unit question of the day. That's it. That's all, fellas. Throw those FUs in my chat if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message. <laughs>